Hi everyone, happy weekend. Welcome to another episode of my YouTube channel, Data Science with Sam. In today's video, I'll talk about deep learning, a term that's been very popular in recent years. Deep learning is a continuous part of artificial intelligence. This artificial intelligence concept kind of started back in 20th century. The main idea was to like mimic human intelligence and behavioral pattern into machine. Then after that, it progressed into machine learning, which is a technique where we can actually make the system or computer work without being explicitly programmed on. So computer can work without manual supervision. But then after that, we found some kind of like a limitation with machine learning that can be eradicated with a new concept. And here comes deep learning. So the idea of deep learning is kind of inspired by a human brains. So because it has those neural networks, which kind of work like the neurons in the brains. So we kind of found that the deep learning could take us to the next level where it can harness the computational power. It can predict some of the algorithm with a better accuracy and maximum throughput. It can reduce the runtime. There are some complex algorithm we're not able to achieve by machine learning, but it will, can be achieved by deep learning for sure. So let's check out in the next section, what's the main difference between machine learning and deep learning? So the obvious question is, what is the difference between deep learning and machine learning? Because as we all know that deep learning is nothing but a subset of machine learning, but there's gotta be some difference. And the difference is feature extraction stage. So this feature extraction stage is very important in the conventional machine learning framework because we use that stage to extract the key features from the data set, we reduce the dimension, and then after that, we pass on those key features to classification or any regression algorithm for prediction purpose. Whereas in deep learning framework, we don't perform that stage explicitly. Rather, we combine that feature extraction phase with the classification model building phase and perform it dynamically. So we'll definitely reduce the overall runtime. And since we are using a neural network, we can perform a lot of forward propagation and back propagation in between that help us to extract more features from a data set. So the deep learning was kind of like, is very beneficial for any kind of complex prediction algorithm because it can harness the better computational power and it can provide you better accuracy than a conventional machine learning framework. So in the previous section, I mentioned that how the elimination of feature extraction stage made the deep learning framework superior over conventional machine learning. Let's talk about some of the applications that have been developed on deep learning. Virtual Assistant, Amazon Alexa, Siri, or Google Home uh, developed on deep learning framework using IoT technologies. There are some retail companies use Chatbot, which is actually a deep learning application that performs as a virtual agent. Healthcare industry started using deep learning for drug discovery or any sort of medical diagnosis purpose. Entertainment industry also using deep learning to improve their video quality use a lot of different video augmentation. Even the um, automobile industry, they're using this deep learning framework to build autonomous car that can predict image or object in runtime. So let's say, think about like Tesla self-driven car. It can actually use deep learning to detect objects when it's driving on the street. There are other industries uh, using uh, computer vision, which is actually a byproduct of deep learning framework for image coloring and also eradicate some of the a deep fake or fake news. It also using deep learning to make better prediction and also uh, for their advertising purpose. Netflix, Amazon Prime, and some of the other streaming channel using deep learning to provide better movie recommendation. So next time when you go to Netflix, you know, just wanted to get some recommendation, deep learning will help you out. So these are some of the applications that have been developed on uh, deep learning and we're still using it. It's becoming a part of our household nowadays. So deep learning impacting your life. So that brings me to an end of this video, which gives you a brief overview of deep learning. It is imperative that deep learning has become an accurate knowledge of data scientists and machine learning engineers in today's world. As we progress further in this field of study, we need to know how we can improve our deep learning framework by adding more neural network, or maybe we can harness more computational power. So how do we achieve that? So we need to know how deep learning framework can be built from the scratch. So in my next video, I'll talk about the technical components of deep learning. I'll tell you the, how you can build a deep learning framework from the scratch. So stay tuned for that. And also this is a series of deep learning that will continue for next couple of months, I guess, because there are a lot of things to talk about deep learning. 
So don't forget to subscribe to my blogs because those videos will be very useful if you want to pursue your career in data science. So till then, goodbye and stay safe.